guys, welcome back to the channel Nays Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nays Nays for those of you who just happened to stumble across this video or who are new to this channel and I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday all about bookish related things. Today's video is going to be a quick mini haul on some book sleeves that I just purchased. Um, I've been really interested in book sleeves for a long time but I just never gave them a try because I felt like I was going to be addicted to buying them and I'm kind of sort of am now but I only have two from one shop and this video is just going to be me unboxing those book sleeves. I already have them out right now on my lap. But um, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and first impressions of the book sleeves. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do the unboxing portion of this, I guess, haul video on some book sleeves. And for those of you who don't know what book sleeves are, book sleeves are basically kind of like pouches you can put your books in for those of us who tend to take books with us and don't like them getting damaged, especially your paperbacks. Hardbacks are, or hardcovers are more easier to maneuver in your bags, but paperbacks end up getting ripped really quickly and damaged really badly. So I decided to take the plunge and try out some companies. This first company, um, they just had a lot more variety and their prices were reasonable and they were located in the States. So I decided to go with this company and the company is Book Gizmo and I found out about them just from looking on Etsy, looking at shops and looking at the different designs and they had way more designs than some other shops. Um, and their shipping was not bad at all. So there are three different sizes. There are the extra large, the standard, and the mini. The minis are great for like Kindles and Kobos and Nooks, um, as well as like your really small trade paperbacks, and then or your mass market paperbacks. Um, and then the standard, which is basically good for your standard paperbacks and some hardcovers. And then you have the extra large, which is greater. I mean, great for those like really massive hardcovers. So the minis. I believe are 10 bucks let me just double check that the minis are 10 bucks yes the standard which I got are $15 and then the extra large are 18 bucks so I did get two of these standards for $15 a piece which was $30 and then the shipping was about $3 and some change but the shipping came with um, USPS priority mail so it came within three days of me purchasing which I thought was phenomenal um, so yeah, I did order two designs. The first one that I really, really wanted and I saw so many people had was the unicorn forest design and then I saw the deer design which kind of gave me wintry vibes. Um, there is another design that I want that she has which is called the Wonderland and it is so cute. I really want to get that in an extra large and a mini. But um, yeah, so this is a packaging that it came in. I have it here. I was getting ready to rip it open and then I thought why not make this video so you guys can see my first impressions. I have a stack of books over here that you can see the um, first two here that I'm going to see if they fit in there and how well they fit. So one, I do absolutely love this packaging. There are so many books on here like at a library and I just love it. So I'm going to open it up. Like I said, I started, but I put it back. So it has a thank you sticker and a note that just says thank you for your purchase, which I think is super cute. And it comes wrapped up. But here are the two. Oh. Okay, so here are the two designs that I got. This one is the deer and this one is the unicorn forest. And this was the one that I really wanted just because it is so gorgeous. Let me get this to focus. It has absolutely stunning unicorns you have your bunnies you have your birds and there is gold on here i don't know if you guys can see the metallic but these yellow spots these gold spots are actually metallic which i think is so freaking adorable and then we have the deer one which just gave me christmasy vibes if you guys can see the detailing up close i don't know why it just gives me christmas vibes winter vibes um yeah so i went with that one so these are the two that i got and um these are standard the standard sizing if i'm not mistaken i will tell you guys right now is seven and a half by ten the minis are six by eight and then the extra large are paper size which are eight and a half by eleven so i really figured that these would be better for me as i have a lot more smaller hardbacks and um, paperbacks to deal with instead of like the massive ones so i'm going to show you guys what they look like up close so the inside of this one is just black on the inside the padding is not extremely um, out there like it's not super cushiony which I don't mind it is a little bit floppy you can ball it up and it, everything um, you could probably iron it if need be but I wouldn't do that but the stitching on this looks perfectly fine to me I don't see anything out of the ordinary with the stitching on this 
and it really feels nice it's not super padded which I don't mind I, I wouldn't want something too bulky to take up space um, and the same goes with this one the stitching on this looks pretty darn good yeah it looks really good so I really like that so I'm going to use this one here to show you guys how the other books that I have fit so I'm going to show you guys my two TV, um, the two books that I'm reading now so I have Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller I'm currently reading this um, I'm about 50% of the way through 180 pages let's see 180 pages yeah I'm 180 pages and I am I'm enjoying it but I'm not as connected to the characters <laughs> Um, this is really giving me uh, Strange the Dreamer vibes where I enjoyed the story but I couldn't connect with the characters. That's how I feel about this. But we're going to stick this in. And it actually fits. And there is still room to maneuver. I could probably throw my pencils in here, my pens. Um, the only thing that sticks out is my ribbon bookmark. But obviously I can just use a um, magnetic bookmark if need be. But that is pretty darn good. You guys, that's pretty that's pretty good so that will fit the next book I have is from Jay Kristoff I'm currently reading this as well I'm not that far and I'm only like 30 if 30 it's not even I'm only 13 pages into this story but um it's Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff the first book in the Lotus War trilogy and I love it it is a much taller hardback let me get this so you guys can see it's much taller and a little bit wider so we are going to see if it fits and it actually does so let's see how far it goes down okay so it's all the way at the bottom and it does stick out just a bit pay my bookmark no mind obviously you can use a magnetic bookmark or a regular paper bookmark or whatever it doesn't have to be a ribbon one that's just what I'm using now and um, yeah it pretty much fits without a problem so that is actually pretty darn good and I'm sure if I had the extra large there would still be space so that fits so now moving on to some other books I do have a mass market paperback this one is Shadows Edge from Brent Weeks I did pick this up from the library at the library book sale so yes that fits obviously in there with space and um, it works The next book I have here is Divergent, and this one is more of a thicker paperback. So let's see. That also fits in there with space, which is really nice. The last one I have is a hardcover. Um, it doesn't have <laughs> the cover on it. This is another book that I got from the library from their sale. Um, actually, all of these books I got from the library, except for Otherworld, I did get from the publishing company. But, um, yeah, Glass Ward came without the dust jacket, which doesn't bother me. It's from Victoria Aviar. This is the second book in the Red Queen series. And let's see if this one will fit. This is, okay. So, compared to Jay Kristoff, um, it is shorter. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys this. So, it is shorter than the Jay Kristoff book, as you can see. And a little bit thinner. But it is thicker in width as far as like the pages, if that makes sense. There's like more pages. So it is shorter, so it should work, but it's thicker. So let's see if this fits in here nicely. And it does. <laughs> you do have to like maneuver it a bit, but I feel like you can just like shake. Yep, pretty much. There we go. The book is all the way in. And obviously I would use a magnetic bookmark or a bookmark ribbon. It doesn't matter. But it fits in there. So it actually fits pretty good size books. Um, I am definitely sure it wouldn't fit another size. Let's see if I can find a massive book to do this with. Um, okay, I'm going to try it with this book here. So I'm going to try, though I know this is going to fail. <laughs> I'm going to try it with um, Bradley P. Bulu's book, um, 12 Kings in Sharakai. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm pretty sure this won't fit. Um, let's see. Well, maybe it could fit. <laughs> it looks like it should be able to fit. So, let's see. Um, I doubt it will, and if it does, it's a very snug, tight fit. Yeah, it's not gonna fit, so... It looks like it should fit, but because it's such 
a massive book. Um, it just, it doesn't. If you guys can see, it looks like it should. Let's see. Let's give this one more go. Let me see if I can do it this way. Okay, wait. It might just fit, you guys. It'll be super snug, but... Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay. So... It's... Wow, okay, this actually will fit. It, yeah, it's going to be very snug and tight to stick inside, so I would just get an um, extra large, which I'm going to do. But um, let me quickly show you guys the extra large that I really want to buy. I'm not sure if this is focusing, but here it is, and this is the Alice in Wonderland one that I really, really want. It's really pretty. I want to get this in an extra large, and then I also want to get it in a mini. And yeah, again, the shop is Book Gizmo from Texas, and there's so many in this shop, you guys, like so many. She also makes mug rug coasters and fabric bookmarks. Um, she has Illuminae ones. She has one from the Splinter Trilogy, which... I definitely want, and you guys can see the pricings on these are not bad. None of them go over $20. Here's a quart of Mist and Fury. I'm trying to see if I can find the splintered one that I really, really want. It's already in my cart. Here it is. If you guys don't know what splintered is, splintered, it was um, a trilogy written by A.G. Howard, and here is the quote. Sometimes a flame must level a forest to ash before new growth can begin. A.G. Howard splintered, and that's one of my favorite YA um, Alice in Wonderland retelling, so I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get this one so bad. But um, yeah, she has some great book sleeves in her shop. So she does book sleeves, bookmarks, book coasters, extra book item, extra box items. She makes pouches and many other things. So yeah, she has this dear one here as well, which is super cute. And I think I want that one too. I don't know, but great stuff. Um, again, moving that out of the way, I have all these books, but yeah, Unicorn Forest, loving that one. And the dear one I am loving. So I'm actually going to be using this one for other worlds. And then I'm probably going to put Storm Dancer in here just because this has red in it. So yeah, let's do that now. So we have Storm Dancer. And sorry about my arm. And then we have Other World set to go. So both of my books are in there and I love it so much. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what they look like and how they work. Okay guys, so as you can see from the unboxing and first impressions, I absolutely adore these book sleeves and definitely plan to order some more from Book Gizmo because her shop is very affordable and the shipping is super fast. Um, so again, I have the Unicorn Forest, which I fell in love with when I first saw it. I saw this actually on another shop. But um, the shipping was just too much for what it was, and I wasn't sure about it, so I went with Book Gizmo. And I just, I love the navy blue black ground with this pinkish lavender animals. I love unicorns. I love the bunnies. It's very much spring-like, but it also gives me that kind of wintry feel still. Don't know why, but it does. Um, and I also love the gold foiling that's going on. I don't know if you guys can see up close. But, um... The gold yellowy parts are gold foil. So you have gold foil here, here, um, on the bird's beak and the flowers. I just, I really like it. I like the navy blue inside of it. I wish it was like a mint. There is another company that, um, makes this kind of design with the inside. You can get pink or mint green, so I may pick up another one. But, um, right now I have Other Worlds by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller in here that I'm actually reviewing for a blog tour. Um, I have to read this one to read the sequel because the sequel is for the blog tour. And this is from Ember, which is, I believe, an imprint of Random House. Let me just double check that and make sure I'm not giving you guys wrong information. Yeah, Random House Children, um, but it's from Ember, which is an imprint. So, yes. So, um, this is a YA kind of sci-fi fantasy type of feel. This book, as I said in the... Um, 
other click where my hat is is giving me stranger doomer vibes where i am in, am enjoying this i'm enjoying the world but i'm not connecting with the character um i don't know i'm enjoying it though it's great so we have that one and it fits in there nicely like it really fits nicely um and then we have the other one which is the deer design which i thought was so cute it's just it is everything oh my gosh i am loving this deer i'm loving the designs the antlers the little um this reminds me of not cranberries oh my god what is that thing i can't remember what the fruit is called but it also reminds me of uh mistletoes and stuff so yeah here's the design up close i really do enjoy this but um right now i have storm dancer from j christoph one side and i am loving this this is the y fantasy with um steampunk aspects to it set in a japanese feudal era so i'm loving it um it's okay i'm not that far into it like i said but um i'm listening to it i'm reading it with the audiobook and i am loving everything about it and this creature here so stinking cute love it but um yeah i love both of these let me stick this back in here i definitely will be ordering um, the other two sizes, again, these are both in the standard size. She does have an extra large, and then she also has a mini, so I'm definitely going to order probably two extra larges, um, a mini, and maybe another standard size, because I really think these are so cute, like, really, really cute. She also has mug rugs, and, um, she makes fa fabric bookmarks. She also makes bookmark sleeves where you can actually stick your bookmarks in, which I might grab one because I have my bookmarks inside of this, like, plasticky thing here. I have... This one bookmark from um, K.M. Randall that was actually signed. I got this years ago when I first started um, doing book reviews. So I have quite a few bookmarks here from like books that I've reviewed for publishers. So like The Eye of Draco. I'm sorry, Eye of the Draco, which I got years ago, you guys. This one from K.M. Randall, which is signed. Um, which one is this? This one is Lust by Diana Rapp, Rapp. And then I have three from Order of the Sears trilogy, which I love this trilogy. And again, I got all of these from doing reviews for the <laughs> for the authors. So like I have a few bookmarks, but I don't use them for books, so I might get a book bookmark sleeve for that. But um I really do love these. I want to get more. They're really nice. They're not super padded as I said, so if you want super duper padded then these might not be the ones for you, but um I like them. They're nice, they're soft and they're gorgeous and the stitching is perfectly fine. Um we shall see how long they last, but um I'm loving them. So yeah, I'm get definitely going to leave her link down below to her Instagram as well as to her Etsy store. She has so many designs, so many, and um, that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to quickly haul these and give my opinion on the brand or company. And um, you can see it right here. Book Gizmo. And here's the other one. I love these. I'll be ordering more and I may do a book sleeve collection probably next year if I have a lot more. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video.